today we are making shiplap. We're making not real shiplap, but we're making kind of a faux shiplap. So we're gonna make it out of a piece of plywood. So thank you, Joanna Gaines. Now we all know what shiplap is. And it looks great on a wall or against a hard surface. What I'm finding out is the more we try to use shiplap in like say making the making of a sign, it's really not good for that because it, it needs something to be up against because it's got these little bitty small points of contact at the back of it and, and it just doesn't work very well for uh, an independent piece. So what do we do with that? Well, we try to make it out of something more stable and the most logical thing would be plywood. So we're gonna make some out of plywood. I'm gonna show you how we do it. It is super duper easy, super easy. Okay, so ultimately we want this. This will be the finished product. This looks really cool. We're gonna put a frame around this. We'll do some lettering on it. And it looks like a little isolated piece of shiplap. This is really cool. Uh, and we're gonna make it out of this. This is just a half inch piece of plywood. There we go. Um, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna make it look, ba bam, like that. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we take it to the table saw. All right, so we need a piece that's about 16 by 20. This is about 16, that's yeah, 24 here. So let's mark off 20 and um, that'll be good. I'm just gonna make a few reference points here. Make sure I'm doing it right on the table saw. We'll set our fence right at four inches. Rip this off and we should be good to go. Okay, so these are about four inches a piece, which makes sense. Since we've got five of them and this is 20 inches long, then I wanna cut some grooves here at four inches. Now, the table saw is already set at four inches, so I'm gonna do this end and this end. Now, how deep are we gonna go on this? Well, let's take a look and see. This is about, this is a half inch board. This is about an eighth of an inch, roughly. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but we're just gonna eyeball about an eighth of an inch and go with that. Okay, so I've marked where about an eighth of an inch is, just roughly. It's about half of halfway. I'm gonna set this here with the highest tooth. Let me see if I can get this down so you can see it better. There. Now, with the highest tooth here, I'm gonna lower the blade down until it's at about that point. You see where we are? That's pretty close, maybe a little lower. We can always take more off, we can't put it back on. And I think that will get us done right there and that's gonna look pretty good. Let's do a test on this scrap piece first. Look at that, nice, 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 nice. Plenty deep enough, that is plenty deep enough to do the job and it gives a nice shadow, so it gives a nice illusion here. So I'm gonna do this on our main board. Let's see how it turns out. Now, one other thing I'm gonna be doing here that I forgot to mention is I intentionally oriented the board so that I'll be cutting rip cuts across here for our grooves. I don't wanna cut across the grain if I don't have to because that always increases the chances for some tear out. So I'm gonna be cutting with the grain as we go across here. I'm gonna be cutting 16 inches across. Uh, so just uh, FYI, just keep that in mind. Always cut with the grain if we can. Uh, I don't like I don't like the cross cutting if we don't have to do that. All right, very nice. Now we'll move the fence out to eight inches, which will be four more, and we'll do it from either side. Again, that would be four inches here, four inches here, and roughly four inches left here. Woo-wee! 
baby. That looks good. Uh, it looks so nice. All right, nice representation of this. Very good looking faux ship lap. Now, you can stop right here if you want to. Hey, just paint it and be done. I'm not really quite happy with that. I want to sand this at least down to a 150. And I like hitting the grooves with a little bit of sandpaper because sometimes these edges can be just a little hairy. So I'm just gonna like grab some of my gator paper, some 150. I'll fold that, stick it down in here, and then just run it back and forth in these grooves all the way across and then this baby will be ready to go we'll paint it up we'll frame it we'll letter it bam look just like this look at that ship lap on the cheap all right i told you that was going to be easy right easy 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 ship lap out of a piece of plywood nothing but the table saw easy easy is it like super inexpensive no is it cheaper than regular shiplap? Yes. And is it more stable? Absolutely, it's more stable for this purpose. One tip though about the painting. Uh, so if, if you're gonna paint this, the darker the paint, the more important it's gonna be for you to make sure you get that paint into these grooves. It's gonna be really hard to do with a brush, obviously impossible with a roller. Um, so you probably wanna come up with some way to spray it um, we have just a little electric sprayer that we use. You could use canned spray paint, although I'm not a fan of that. You could do that, but you want to get that paint into these grooves. You could go back with a little detail brush and get in there and try to fill it in. It would be really tedious, probably drive you crazy and make you want to poke a brush in your eye or something like that, but you could do that. But my suggestion would be to get you an inexpensive little sprayer, go to town and take about two minutes. So that's it. Hey, I hope you like this and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please let us know in the video. Please like and please leave a comment. Um, let us know if you got any suggestions or um, you know anything else you'd like to see us do. And if you like this, um, subscribe to our channel. We post to stuff like this all the time. We love doing it. We love showing you how to do these little things because we're working out of a shop. Obviously, you can see behind me, this is my carport. So we're working out of a shop that's inexpensive with inexpensive tools, doing things in a very simple way. So, hey, if you like this, let us know and join us and we'll post stuff like this all the time. Take care and I'll see you next time.